Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you how to simulate a frequency selective surface using HFSS. To begin with, first let us create the geometry of a frequency selective surface by clicking on draw rectangle. Here you can draw a simple rectangle and you can give the position values as minus dollar W by 2 comma minus dollar L by 2 comma 0. It will ask for the values of W and L. So here unit type you can select it as length and you can give the value as 15 millimeters. Similarly for the length you can select here the length and the value you can give it as 15 millimeters. For the X size you can give dollar W and for the Y size you can give dollar L. Then click OK. You can see here a square is created with 15 millimeters length and 15 millimeters width. Next let us create a slot here. For that again draw a rectangle. Here you can give the position as minus dollar ws by 2 comma minus dollar ls by 2 comma 0. It will ask for the WS value and LS value. So let us select here the unit type as length and enter the value of WS as 2 millimeters. Then click OK. Then LS value 12 millimeters. Click OK. Then here you can give X size as dollar WS and Y size as dollar LS. You can see here a rectangular strip is created. Similarly, let us create one more strip line by creating rectangle. Just drag and drop here and you can give the position value here as minus dollar ls by 2 comma minus dollar ws by 2 comma 0 and x size you can give dollar ls y size you can give dollar ws then click ok you can see here another rectangle is created now let us select this rectangle 2 and rectangle 3 and unite it next you select rectangle 1 and then rectangle 2 you subtract it can see now our frequency selective surface is ready. Now select this frequency selective surface, right click, select here assign boundary, click on perfect electric and apply OK. Now let us create a box and assign ports and boundaries to it. So to do that let us go to draw click on region and here you can just set absolute offset and here you can just give uh, 20 millimeters and then click OK. You can see here a box is created okay but we need to have this box extended only in the Z direction and we have to uh, match exactly the size of the frequency selective surface in the X and Y directions. To do that, double click on this create region and you just make this X padding as 0, similarly Y padding as 0 and leave the Z padding as 20 mm in both positive and negative directions. Then click OK. Now we can see there is only the extension in the Z axis and it is exactly fitting in the X and Y directions. Now let us assign the excitations and boundaries to this particular radiation box. To do that, select the face which is perpendicular to X axis, right click and here go to assign boundary, select master. Then here you can select here new vector and draw a line from this corner to the bottom. 
and then you can just click on OK. Similarly, rotate this and find the opposite side and select that face, right click. Here, go to assign boundary, select the slave. Here, master boundary, you select it as master 1 and for U vector, you just click on new vector and draw a line from here to here. Then you click next and finish. Similarly, now let us rotate this and assign the second master slave boundary to the planes perpendicular to y axis. So select here the first plane which is perpendicular to y axis, right click, click on assign boundary, select here master and define the vector here, new vector, draw a line from top to bottom here. And here you can click on reverse direction and click OK. Next, same thing you just do it for the other side. Select this face, right click, assign boundary, select slave here. You can select now the master tool and here you can select a new vector and draw a line from here to the bottom. Click OK. Finish. So now the master slave boundaries are assigned here. Next is we have to assign the ports. To do that, let us select the planes perpendicular to Z axis. So first I will select the top surface. Right click. Select here assign excitation. You can give plucket port here. So A direction unit vector you can take here. Select a new vector. You just draw a line from here to here. Similarly, select B direction vector and draw a line from here to here. So then click next, next and then finish it. Now select the bottom plane. Right click, do the same thing here. Go to assign excitation, select plucket port. So here already it is defined with respect to the first plucket port. Then you just finish by clicking next, next and finish. Now let us create the analysis setup by right clicking on analysis, add solution setup here. You can just mention here 12.5 gigahertz as a frequency and number of passes, let me just put 18, click OK. Just click on this plus symbol here select this setup one, right click, add frequency sweep. You can give here 10 gigahertz to 15 gigahertz. Uh, this you can select it as linear count and here you can give it as some uh, 201 count. Then you can click OK. Now you can just click on this validate button and ensure no errors are there in this particular design. Then close it, click on analyze all. Now the simulation has been started. Okay, So once the simulation is completed, we will see the S parameters to confirm the frequency it is going to reject. Now the simulation is completed. Let us plot the results. Select results, create model solution data report, rectangular plot. Here you just select the plucket port 1 is to 1, star, and select port 1 colon 1 and 2 colon 1. So just create a new report. Close this and you can see now uh, at 12.5 gigahertz approximately at 12.5 gigahertz, there is a very good resonance that indicates that this frequency selective surface is actually having minimal reflections at 12.57 gigahertz with a minus 10 dB bandwidth of approximately uh, 1.17 gigahertz. So beyond that, if you just see here, 
the reflections will be more and it is not going to resonate at that particular frequencies. That's all in this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share to your friends. Thank you.